Good morning, Wolfpack. I'm Harris Saqib. And I'm Matthew Jonah. Today is Wednesday, December 18th, and we're here with your morning announcements. Attention, Wolfpack. There is a soccer game today at 3.30 after school. There's also a home basketball game this Friday at 5. Before we begin, let's check out how the winter food fair went. Yearbook distribution in May seems like a long ways off, but the yearbook price will only be $75 until the New Year's Eve. Prices go up to $90 January 1st. Lock in the lowest price of the year before it's too late. You can buy a yearbook online through the school website or through the link in the bio on the yearbook's Instagram. If you regis registered for any AP exams, please pick up the AP booklet in the hallway at Student Services. It will get you ready for exam day and includes the 2020 exam schedule. The COHS golf team will be holding an informational meeting today in HN2 during both first and second lunches. If you are interested in playing golf this year, it is important that you attend this meeting. If you are not able to make the meeting, please swing by HN2 and talk with Coach Dreyer. Link leaders are hosting another Cram with a Pack session today from 3.30 to 4.30 in HL3. Stop by and get tutoring to help you finish strong in finals. Tutors will be there to help 9th grade students with Spanish 1 and 2, Math 1 and 2, Biology, General Science, and World Geography. Access to Chromebooks will be provided, along with snacks and water. See you there. BSU will be selling candy grams during both lunches. Come and spread some holiday cheer and purchase your candy gram for $1 today. They will also be having a shoe drive through the December 29th. Please bring any shoes to donate to HB10 before or after school. BSU will be hosting their first annual Kwanzaa Celebration Night today from 5.30 to 7.30 in the Culinary Arts Building. And now let's pass on over to Austin and Kaylin for your In the News update. Hey there, Wolfpack. I'm Caitlin Scholl. And I'm Austin Scherer, here with your In the News update. Starting off with some political news, the Trump impeachment hearing is currently live, and the president is poised to be the third ever to be impeached. History is happening now, so be sure to check up on the live update. In local news, Bounty XP Game Center, a place for gamers and board game aficionados, has opened. They host tournaments every week, sell games, toys, collectibles, and have drinks and snacks. So if you're a gamer, go check it out. Wash your hands, Wolfpack. In an Idaho elementary school, two teachers conducted an experiment that demonstrated the importance of hygiene. Students touched different pieces of bread with hands of varying degrees of cleanliness, and the last piece was rubbed over a computer keyboard. With the flu season coming up, make sure to stay clean. In Florida man news, a man was arrested for domestic battery after throwing a Pop-Tart at his wife's head. Although the Pop-Tart failed to actually make contact with the intended target, the man's hand did graze her, uh, resulting in the charges against him. In gamer news, the Vatican now has its own official Minecraft server. It was made in an effort to have a less toxic online community, although many have already been banned. The server's been overwhelmed and potentially sabotaged. Uh, before we go, I have a few words to say. Hey Wolfpack, it's Austin Scherer again. This will be my last show on Wolfpack TV, and like a few others at our school, I'm graduating early. So I figured now would be an appropriate time for my farewell. My three and a half years at this school have been amazing, and I have made some great friends during my time here. To my close friends, I thank you for being here for me, and you're all aware of how much y'all mean to me. To my teachers, I'm grateful for your guidance and for your teachings. And to my Wolfpack TV family, my time here may not have been as long as I'd liked, but my senior year with your crew has been some of the most fun in my high school career. I'll miss you all, and I will look back to these days with a smile. That's all I have for you to Wolfpack. <laughs> I'm Austin, Sh I'm Austin Scherer. Keep it groovy, guys. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Current ninth and 10th graders, do you have post-secondary goals of going directly to a four-year college after you graduate from CEO? Do you want or need additional support to make sure those goals become a reality? If so, AVID might be a good fit for you. 
If you're interested in learning more about AVID and how to apply to our AVID program at CEO, come to an informational meeting today at 3.20 p.m. in Ms. Ramos's room, Library 1. If you have any questions, please contact Ms. Ramos. The Computer Science National Honor Society is officially a club and invites you to join. If you are interested in anything related to computers, please see Mrs. Hale in room HF2 during either lunch or after school on Tuesdays and Fridays. Seniors, if you're taking AP Comparative Government Term 3, please visit Ms. Liu in the library before or after to check out your Comparative Government textbook. You will need your student ID to check out your book. Talk to Ms. Lalonde if you have any questions. Attention all students, the library will only be open for returning books. Return all textbooks and novels that are due before winter break. The library will be open before school, during lunch, and after school for book returns only. Be responsible and avoid being on the no activities list by returning books that are due. Before we go, Band and Choir had their holiday concerts last week. Let's take a look at their amazing performance. Well, that's all we have for you today, Wolfpack. I'm Harasaka. And I'm Matthew Droner. Remember, the strength of the pack is the wolf. And the strength of the wolf is the pack. Good, Good luck, luck on, on finals. finals.